Thank you very much. I'm very happy and honoured to receive this award. Hi, my name is Sam and I am the winner of this year's Volunteer of the Year Award. And these are the volunteers that I have been working with. All these would not have been possible without Cody. But he couldn't make it. What happened? Well, this is a story of Cody and I and how I had a change of heart. Just imagine a life without being able to play your favourite sport. A life full of medication. A life spent in the hospital. I resented everything. Everyone. But this is Cody. He's different. Always a model patient. Hello Dr. Yo. Morning Cody. Uh, I just finished my treatment and I'm just wondering if you can help me check my progress book. Okay, the famous Cody progress book. Can, thank you for updating it. Hey Cody, do you think you can do us a favour? Hi Sam, this is Cody, your new roommate. You boys must take care of each other, okay? I'm sure we will. Right Sam? Right. So, how did you end up here? Heart condition, soccer, bad combination. Sounds pretty much like my life story. Oh, is it? Cool story. Okay, you try and grab some rest, yeah? Must have been a rough day for you. Let's just say, I wasn't the friendliest person we met. I was always playing soccer on my mobile, never really paying attention to the people around me because I felt that no one understood. But things changed when he shared his story. For the first time, someone truly understood what I was going through. Oh, that soccer game again? Yeah, you should download it. Hmm, I don't think so. I've been through the hospital so much. My family can't afford such an expensive phone. I've actually been through a heart operation. And after that, I thought I fully recovered and I ignored all the rehab, all the doctor's consultations and medications only to end back here. But what really hit me was when I see how my mum struggled to pay the hospital bills, doing multiple odd jobs till she fell seriously ill. That was when I knew I had to step up because I knew I had to take charge of my own life so that I can take care of my mum and take care of myself. Well, 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 it's not that bad. At least now my condition is kept under control. What does that do? Well, this? I used it to keep track of my treatment progress, like medications, consultations, I just like being responsible for my own condition. Plus, plus, keeping track of my health condition is almost like keeping track of my favourite soccer team on the league. Oh, you're interested in soccer too? Duh, I follow every single match. Me too. Too bad I can't go to the fields. I'm just stuck with this. Uh, that may not be true. But you know what? We'll save that for next time. And he kept his promise. Ta-da! Look at my secret game room. That's when he taught me to see things in a different light. That we are able to pursue our passion differently. But Cody went on to show me much more. He showed me how much you can give despite having very little. Something that I didn't quite understand back then.
you ask me, I would never expect to make such a good friend in the hospital. Cody was special in his own way, genuine and kind of inspirational. He taught me the importance of taking responsibility of my own health. Despite gaining so much from our interactions, I forgot about the value of giving back and showing care for others. Sometimes, you never truly appreciate people around you until it's too late. Hi Sam. Hi. Even in his state, Cody being Cody, he still puts others before him. <coughs> oh, have you guys planned for the war celebration this month? Can we talk about this after you have recovered? But remember Mr. Tan, right? I'd be so disappointed if there's no more celebration this month. Don't worry. We will definitely do it. Can you just focus on getting better? <coughs> Promise me, after this, you guys will carry on our legacy, alright? <sighs> That's when I told myself, no, our story cannot end this way. And I had a change of heart. Initially, we started off by celebrating birthdays for patients, you know, to bring some good cheer. Since I'm a heart transplant survivor, we decided to venture into research and education initiatives for heart transplant patients. We even set up our own volunteer group worldwide and these are men completely by my volunteers. Wow, that's amazing. But who is this guy? Oh, him? That's Cody. He is the person who made me who I am today. But he couldn't make it. Oh, isn't that Cody? Oh, I thought you couldn't make it today. Come on in. He received a heart transplant and I received mine shortly after and we haven't stopped volunteering ever since as we thought that was the best way to give back to society.